20 on the board. A main time. So, who will take out tonight's A main of the Sydney Street Stoggers? Some of the big boys that we normally see here are away racing. I think it's in a state title, actually. So race leader, car 88. Timmy Dodson, yellow light on. Got a bumper bar in turn four. As we resume, Dodson in 88, the race leader. Ether in the 21 into second. The 11, Charlie Dodson in third. Here comes Blackley in the 66. That's Martin Blackley. Boom, boom. Greg Bayless back there in fifth. Lucas Walters trying to move his way through the field. In car nine. Matt Robinson in the front wheels, 84. Big moment, Lucas Walters, where are you going? Yellow light on. As we get back on the gas, we're green. Esther gets absolutely swamped. Blackley on the outside. The 11 of Charlie Dodson on the inside. Challenge for the race lead as we go into turn three. Oh, Blackley went from the top to the bottom just ever so nicely and made it stick. So Blackley is your race leader. Dodson doesn't like it. Blackley throws that holding in sideways. Standing down here in turn three, you get a great appreciation of how sideways these boys and girls get it. Corey Fenson doing a nice job. As I say that, he's grabbing steering wheel left, right and center. Hang on to it, Corey. Race leader, Blackley. Throws the Lithgow tyre service number 66 sideways into turn three. There goes Boom Boom. Huey Van Der Veen goes past in the 45 car, 14 car, I should say. So Blackley's pulled away just that little bit from Dodson. Lucas Walters back there in third. Ether in the 21 in fourth. Dodson, that's Tim Dodson. Charlie, sorry, in the 11. Then we go back to Tony Irwin in the 36. Boom, boom, Bayless. Then Darcy. Then we have Sharp. Great battle on the racetrack. Race leader Blackley fires down into turn three. He's just so smooth on the accelerator. You can see him working at the wheel. Left, right, right, left. Whereas you watch some of these other guys, they are fighting the steering wheel. Oh, Ether in 21 in the Hunter Beer Co. Car coming to the infield. We stay green. Nice job. Disappointing that you're out of the race, but nice job coming to the infield. Erwin now. Having a go. Race leader out of turn two, 12 remaining. So the 88 of Dodson, Timmy Dodson, he's running one of these Sony action cams. He's having fun. Well, he's about to see the nine go by. There goes Lucas Walters. Dodson's got a problem by the look of it. Darcy and Boom Boom Bayless having a great battle. 10 remaining. Half race distance in tonight's A main. Holden versus Ford. Sydney Street Stockers. As I said, remember the June long weekend here at Sydney Speedway. They're going to have a big event. So the word is filtering through. Big money event. 
Tony Irwin now. Goes looking on the inside in the 36, made it work. Irwin's up to third. Blackley though, he's cleared out. Lucas Walters still there in second spot in the SP tyres, number nine. There's your third place car, Tony Irwin in the 36. Then we go back to the Dodson cars, 88 and 11. Then Bayless, then Sharp, then the 81 of Davison. Blackley now puts another car down. Rogers in the 85. A lap, that is, doesn't put him down, literally. Puts him down a lap. Six remaining. Oh, Blackley. He's great to watch. He comes into turn three in open air. Just gets the car so sideways but he's so smooth on the wheel at the same time. Five remaining in tonight's A-Main for the Holden versus Ford Sydney Street Stocks. Four remaining. Walters will not run down your race leader. Irwin will not run down second place either. Top three are solid, barring no mechanical failures or spin outs. All getting taken out. Gee, you can actually tell that uh, race leader, as he went past in turn three that time, Blackley, totally off the gas as he went into the turns. You can almost look across and see the second place car as he goes down the back straight. Bit of smoke now coming out of the Rogers 85 car. Walters still in second. Tony Irwin there in third. One to go. Blackley. Out of turn four, checkers for Martin Blackley takes the win. We wait for second place. Lucas Walters comes out of turn four with the smoke coming out of the back of it. Takes home second position. And Tony Irwin in car 36, home for third. No time taken due to the stoppages. 15 on the board. Tonight's A-Main brought to us by Musselbrook Nissan. Late model A-Main is green. Bailey in the 19, picks up Nathan Disney, who's got an ugly race car out there right now. The race leader is Hickey in the 51. Kelleher back there in second, Robinson in the four. Followed by Bruce McKenzie, straight lines it into turn one. Revan Ron Pine in car nine, moving his way through the field. Oh, Disney tags McKenzie. We'll go yellow. Kelleher gets a good start. As the yellow comes on. Kelleher's not allowed to go that early. He ain't the race leader. Hickey's your race leader. Kelleher would have got a warning. Do it again, you're in trouble. Hickey made sure of it this time. The Robertson in the four. He's very fast in this division. Oh, he sticks it in underneath Kelleher. Pine comes through. They're tagging each other, Kelleher. So Hickey's your race leader in 51. Robertson in the four on the top side. Rev and Ron Pine in car nine. Bailey in the 19, McKenzie in the 15. Timmy Bink back there in the 41, Edser in the five, and back there, Jess Cassidy in car 20. 
So Hickey's your race leader on the bottom side of the racetrack, whereas Robinson, Robbo, in the four, run on the top side. Revan Ron Pine running right through the middle, comes out of four, hits the cushion. Oh, Bailey, very loose out of four. Tim Bink gets in underneath McKenzie. In the EFI spares, number 41 from Newcastle. Bink used to race street stocks, was a champion in them. Then he stepped up into wingless. He destroyed a car in wingless and he said, bugger it, I'm going late model racing. That's the fourth place car out there on the racetrack. Race leader now is Robbo Robinson in car four. Hickey back to second. Third is Pine in car nine. Eight remaining as they come out of turn four. Bailey goes above the cushion in turn four, goes, stays on the trotting track. He's out of the event. So Robbo doing a nice job out in front right now. Hickey still in second. Pine in third, fourth is Bink. Edsa in fifth. Can we go back to Jess Cassidy and Bruce McKenzie? Five remaining for Robbo. Robbo got it very sideways, he went into turn one. Hickey coming back at Robbo. Hickey's there with four to go. Lost a bit of ground that time as Hickey. Whereas Robbo stepped up. Running right down on the pole line. Whereas Pines on the top side. Pines not careful, he's gonna have Bink all over the back of him. Jessica Cassidy spins. Rolls back off the outside of turn four, out of harm's way. Three remaining in tonight's A main of the late models, brought to us by Musselbrook Nissen. Three to go. Robbo, Robinson, your race leader. The 51 of Hickey in second. Rev and Ron Pine back there in third. You just know big Rev and Ron. He's wheeling it on the top side. He wants the win. Picks up second. He wants Robbo now. Two to go. Robbo shuts the door. Pine had to jump on the anchors. That let Hickey get back by him. Pine now has got to do the same thing in three and four. Wind up on the cushion. Try and make it work, it's the final lap. Pine on the top side. Robinson and Hickey on the bottom side. Ah, Pine's absolutely stuffed turn two up that time, it's cost him. Just hit the cushion. He's done it again in three and four, but your winner will be Robbo Robinson. Takes the win, Hickey home for second. We go green. So Mitch Beiner in the Car Attack Raceway. Number two car is your race leader. The seven of Matty Rush in second. Then we go back to Sainsbury. Brett Sainsbury in the 71. They're in the top three tonight in this division. Now keep an eye on the bad boy mowers number 12 of Sean Richards. He moves up to fifth position. This is the orange car. Both heat races. He's had mechanical dramas. So he hasn't done a lap. Let's see what he can do. Challenging for fourth now. Puts the Queensland two of Steve McCulloch back to fourth. The bad boy mowers number 10 of Jordan Pinskin. Not running on all cylinders as it should. The 12 remaining, your race leader, Mitch Beiner, Matty Rush in second, Brett Saisbury third, 
Sean Richards in fourth. So Sean's come from the back of the pack, and in four laps, he's up to four. The 14, gone back to the pits. Mitch Isaacs normally drives it, but I think it's driven by someone else tonight. And that rush all over the back of mine up. It's the Mitch, Matt, Brett, and Sean show at the moment. Top two are cleared out right now, though. Here comes Sean Richards on the outside of Brett Saisbury. Richards picks up third. So your race leader, Mitch Biner. He's got Matty Rush all over the back of him. I reckon Rush is just sitting there waiting for a mistake or the door to open up from Biner. A couple of motors starting to go off down the front straight that time as they went by. If these two front guys keep racing each other like this, watch Sean Richards catch them. Seven to go. So the Queenslander and the Victorian are having a great battle. Jason Gibbons and Steve McCulloch. McCulloch in the two, Gibbons in the three. So you can clearly see Richards has closed in that little bit. KC Tools bringing it tonight's A main of the micro sprints. Biner pulled away now from Rush. Rush's motor's gone. You can tell, slowed right down. He even had one hand off the steering wheel. Heading back to the pits, or is he going to stay out? No, going to keep circulating. So Mitchie Bine is your race leader, but for how long? The bad boy mowers, number 12 of Sean Richards, is coming with four to go. One more lap car, and then they've got an open track in front of them for the last three laps. So Mitch Biner, your race leader, into turn one. Sean Richards around the top side, had to get out of the gas, because you can see Biner was going to move up. They'll be better off clearing the slower car if they have now. Watch Sean Richards just wind this number 12 up. Biner would have heard him and seen him. Two to go. Sean Richards to the outside in turn two. Hasn't done a lap tonight to bar this feature. Biner comes back at him on the inside. We've got a dogfight on for the last lap now. Biner has led all laps tonight in this A main. Sean Richards from the back. Side by side, down to two. Down the back straight they go. Biner in car two, Richards in car 12. Does Richards do the big move around the outside and try and make it stick? It's going to be close. It's Sean Richards by a nose. Wow. We're green. So Damien Abbott, your early race leader on lap one. Guy Stanchel in second, Jay Wall moves up to third, Alex Hoare is fourth. Then we go back to the 42 of uh, Steve Patriona. Then we have Kyle Corn running on the bottom side. Then we go back to Stephen Rowe, Blake Darcy. Then we have Michael Zamet, Michaela Dumsney. Then we have Troy Little. Then we go back to Brian Britton. And then there's a thousand cars after that. Race leader though, Damien Abbott, two in the books, 18 remaining. Abbott actually cleared away quite well right now. Stanchel still there in second. Well, the rabbit, Damien Abbott, doing a heck of a job out in front. Jay War searching on the top side, whereas Alex Orr is on the bottom side. Guy Stanchel running through that middle part, maybe more on the bottom side. Oh, Kyle Corn got right down in the greasy stuff, had to get on the anchors, unsettled that race car.
So Jay Waugh moves up to second. Alex Orr now moves up to third, puts Stansel back to fourth. Rowe now goes past Stansel, so does Kyle Korn. Rowe and Korn fighting over fourth. Korn's now got fourth, Rowe back to fifth. Stansel in sixth. Seventh is Steve Patriotta. Oh, Rowe goes wide out of four, jumps the cushion. Race leader though. With 12 to go as he comes past the stripe this time as he exits turn four. He's Damien the Rabbit Abbott. Gets right off the gas as he goes into turn one. Good racing out here in the wingless division for their A main tonight. Jay Wall probably closed that gap just a little bit on Damien Abbott. Not much, but maybe an inch. Alex Orr, still in second. Kyle Corn, yellow. Car stopped in turn three and on the outside of turn three. Damien Abbott, your race leader, Jay War, Alex Orr, Kyle Corn, Stephen Rowe, Guy Stanchel, Patriotta. Patriotta fight in that race car. Oh, Kyle Korn slipped in the greasy stuff on the bottom side of the racetrack. Stephen Rowe made contact and his front end's out of the race car. As we go green. Abbott over war. Oh, Blake Darcy spins. Red light on. As we go green. So, the rabbit, Damien Abbott, your race leader. Jay War in second, Alex Orr third, Kyle Ford fourth. Guy Stansel then. Nick Zammett. Oh, car spinning here on the front straight, front end damage, steering arm totally ripped off that car. We'll go yellow. Oh, Zammett. I don't want to dock in, but wow. So race leader, Damien Abbott, Jay War in second, Alex Orr third, Orr challenging on the top side. Little's made weaved his way through the field, I must admit. In the 85 car. Craft Differential's pink car. Kyle Corn trying to make it work on the bottom side. Pulls up alongside Alex Orr as they went into one. Orr got a good run through two. Kayla, the 25, had a big moment in turn one, three and four. We stay green. Patriota spins. Get it back going. Beautiful, we'll stay clean and green. In the statewide forklifts. Steve Patriota, that one. But Abbott's not going to like to see that with five remain. See that car in front of him. Bit of a cushion forming. Out of four. Jay Wall closing. Just that little bit. Because of Steve Patriotta in front of him. Will it play a part? War. Oh, Patriota got a bad run out of four. Abbott trying to make it work around the top side. Here comes War on the bottom side. War 
Porsche new race leader, Abbott. Back to second. Now watch more, Abbott spins almost. The rabbit stepped on his ears. Two to go now for Jay Wall. Can Abbott get him back on the top side? He's gonna set him up into three and four. You just know he is. Abbott pulls a tear off so he can see what's going on in three and fours. Patriot has spun in front of him. We're gonna go yellow or we're going check us. Yellows are out. Yellows are out. So we will have a green white checker. So Steve Patriotta in the statewide forklifts. In 42, we'll be going to the pits. Jay War, you got a big target on your back. Well, Abbott got a good start. He went to have a look underneath him. You know Abbott's just going to do it on the last turn. They come out of turn four with one to go. Abbott pulls another tear off. Get a clear run into one. Gets a great run out of two. Abbott to the outside. Jay War on the inside. Abbott led the most laps so far on the feature race. War on the bottom side. War gets a great drive out of four. Takes the win. Abbott home for second, Alex Orr home for third. How about it ladies and gentlemen, up out of your seats and show your appreciation as the drivers go four wide in tonight's AMA. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the main event. Let's get ready to rumble! All right, ladies and gentlemen, as they come out of turn four, let's everybody up out of your seats, off the grass hill, let's make some noise for our drivers. 24 drivers tonight in tonight's AMA. Seats, ladies and gentlemen, we're green for 30. Oh, Ash Burke. Big contact down here on the front straight. Burke is moving around in the cockpit. He's okay. Climbing out of the race car, how about it, ladies and gentlemen? Ash Burke climbing out of the Carline Automotive 89. 30 on the board, we're green. Keep an eye back in the pack for cars like Benny Atkinson. Oh, Hogan is it? Just want to pick up the other UEA car. No, it's Ian Burrows. Ian Burrows rode over the wheel of Benny Atkinson. 30 on the board, third time lucky, we go green. Timmy Evans. 
David Kraft, Randy Atkinson, wow. James Thompson started in position 10, and Benny is one car behind him. you to stay back please. Yellow light out. 24 to go. Yellow light gets a great start as does the gas girl. Oh no, James Thompson. Linigan gets another great start. Yellow light equally good. almost about keeping your car on the racetrack, keeping it straight, you'll finish the AMA. He's the door, oh, three wide, until he ended in disaster again on the main straight. Anybody think this is an Australian title the way some of these guys are driving? They are race car drivers, once they put the helmet on, different scenario. Oh no! Match it! Toby Bell Bowen's right rear tyre, or wheel, has come off by the look of it. Then Matchett's had nowhere to go, either has Hogan in the UEA. Wow! Stay clean and green for 22. Let's hope so. So your race leader is Jackson Delamont and doing a nice job. Second place is Linigan Kraft back there in third. That's David Kraft. We go back to Blake Skipper. Rod Bright. Evans, Roddy Belbow, and Clayton Hart, James Thompson. Jackson, from Young, third generation driver. Oh, Thompson, come out of four. The car just turned right on him and nearly took the front end out of Clayton Hart's car. That was close. Working over. Kraft. This is for third. David Kraft won't like that, knowing him. Skipper did a nice move. Kraft went to come back on the inside. Decided against it. James Thompson really fighting his race car out of four. Clayton Hart working the top side of Thompson. Hart now looks at Roddy Bell Bowen next on his list. Jackson, double, oh, Thomas! That was close. He was loose out of two right in front of the race leader. I'm looking for the full moon. It's not there. 
Maybe it was that bloody meteorite that come past Earth yesterday. Well, 14 remaining. The race leader, Jackson Delamont, make that 13 as he goes past the stride. Lidigan still in second. Third is one late skipper. Then we go back to David Kraft. The battle on between Kraft and Rod Bright. Then we go back to Jimmy Evans, Roddy Bell Bowen, James Thompson and Clayton Hart still going at it. Then the next car on the track is Gary Hart. Then we have Peter Burke. Peter Adard going down a lap with Jackson Delamont. Matty Thomas, the last car on the racetrack with Hayley Sayers. So Delamont, pretty much a straightaway length lead right now with 11 to go. Oh, Jimmy Evans takes the front straight off David Kraft's car. Kraft continues on. There was no contact, but Kraft had to get off the gas. You can see it. Mike Hart putting in the big ones on the top side. Puts Roddy Bell Bowen back in position. Here comes Jackson Delamont. Next car on Jackson's shopping list is James Thompson. So he's left up to. He's left up to ninth. That's Jackson. Got a bit of work to do to catch James Thompson first. But he's slowly doing it. Seven remaining. Jimmy Evans and Kraft still having a great battle. That's for position. Clayton Hart wants a piece, but Hart goes up off the racetrack. Comes back on. Nearly had contact with Roddy Balboa. Six remaining. Delamont. Down the back straight. You can see Thompson and the like in front of him. Because these guys are racing hard. Delamont is catching them. Linnigan's still in second. Third is Blake Skipper on his birthday. Nice 20th birthday present. So Delamont. Got some very, very fast car. Clayton Hart spins. He comes to the infield. We're going to stay free. He's out. I don't know how he stayed. That did that actually. Very, very lucky. Right in front of the race leader. That was too. So Delamont. Three to go. Second place is Kelly Linnigan. Third is Blake Skipper. Fourth is Bright. Fifth is Kraft. Sixth is Evans. Seventh is Del Rowan. Eighth is James Thompson. Then we go back to the leader. Oh, Peter Rennard spins. Yellow. Yellow, yellow, yellow. Not mellow, yellow, just yellow. Wow. We go green. Delamont got away to an absolute brilliant start. Kraft on the top side. Here you can see Rod Wright and David Kraft. They want to spoil and blow out the candles on Blake Skipper. Oh, Kraft and Sprite nearly come together. Wright on the brakes. Keep the car not contacting with Blake Skipper. Race leader though, Jackson Delamont. Down the back straight, into turn three and four. Kraft, he's gonna try and make it work on the top side. Jackson Delamont takes the win. Home in second place goes to Kelly Linnigan. And Blake Skipper hangs on for third for his birthday. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Jackson Delamont about to climb out of the race car. Get on the top of the rear of the car and do a bit of a wing dance. How about it, your club show feature winner, Jackson Delamont.